It's a summer-like week, and a top summertime complaint is heating up, too. Sure is. Roar motorcycles, illegal dirt bikes zipping around Syracuse neighborhoods. As News Channel Line's Jeremy Skiba tells us, the race is on to slow the noise, nuisance, and danger. An ear-piercing sound bothering many neighbors like Rodney Sanford. It does affect my quality of life when I'm trying to get to sleep. And also I, I got to deal with people with their souped-up cars and even motorcycles going up and down the street. And they play the stereo system so loud that even on this house you can rock the windows. Illegal street vehicles racing around on streets and breaking the law. Sometimes I do see those illegal dirt bikes patrolling streets as well. Those kind of have no registration, no license plates. When Washington Square Neighborhood Watch tried to reason with them, they say they were met with retaliation. We've had instances reported where once somebody finds out that it bothers them every day, they'll come by and rev the engines. And Complaints are increasing as the warm weather rolls in, and Syracuse common counselors are often on the receiving end. If I were to call for an ATV on my street or a motor, you know, a motorbike, by the time someone gets here, chances are they're no longer anywhere near my house. Here at the intersection of West Seneca Turnpike and Valley Drive, neighbors say they've seen illegal ATVs and dirt bikes revving their engines and blowing red lights. Community leaders want a concrete solution before things turn deadly. I certainly don't want you running out in the street to chase somebody down. Uh, stay safe, call somebody that can help you, and if that person's not helping you, call somebody else. And always report it to police. In Syracuse, Jeremy Skiba, News Channel 9. Anyone driving an illegal ATV or dirt bike on Syracuse City streets or in parks will get the machine confiscated, face traffic tickets, possible arrest, and have to pay a fee of $2,000 for the owner to get it back.